you've been getting some reaction mm -hmm. from the powers that be to your report. Yeah, we've spoken in the last hour to the Royal College of GPs and they have told us they will be taking action. In light of the inquests and the findings recently, the Royal College of GPs will certainly be reminding all our members that this is an important issue that we should be raising with any woman who is starting a new contraceptive and also reminding them about all the resources available to help them should they wish it. So that's good news, uh, but I don't think it's about just training. They do have training and they should be aware already. We've also spoken to a professor of surgery at Manchester University. He believes it's not just about training, it's also about treating these symptoms when young women come in, treating them seriously. Is it also possible that familiarity breeds contempt, that GPs have kind of lived with this for so long now that they're forgetting to look for those key tests? I think what it is with, with the contraceptive pill particularly, especially in your report, we saw these young women, they're very young, they're very healthy, they don't look like people who could possibly be unwell and so many millions of women in this country are on the pill. So it's hard to imagine, even as a doctor in an A&E, that they could suddenly be having a pulmonary embolism. And very often it's odd because these doctors are the very same people that have given the young women the pill because they're very often the family doctor. I mean, what a, what, it's very important to say this isn't about the contraceptive pill, it is a very safe form sure. of contraception. This is about spotting the side effects that we're looking at. Those side effects, Ellie could probably go through them much better than I can, but all of these girls, I mean, uh, Sophie went four times to her doctor before dying. Um, Maria Santa went four times. Fallon Couric was told she was having a panic attack and a few days later she died in her mum's arms. And all of, the, sorry, yeah. all of these things should be discussed. I was going to say, when... so if the Royal College, who literally within the last yeah. half hour yeah. speaking to you, if they're going to put out this notice, mm. is it a reminder of existing sound instructions or is it a fresh look at instructions that are required? Yeah, no, it's a fresh look. I mean, any nurse, any GP, any doctor prescribing the pill should be taught talking to the women, whether they're 18 or whether they're 38, about blood clots, about breast cancer, about blood pressure, about smoking. That's why we have pill checks. Mm. I think it's become a very routine, a very familiar consultation. It's become a very quick consultation, sure. but the discussions have to be sure. had. And the other thing I want to do, because folk will be listening to this conversation and seeing Allegra's report, we are talking, any death is a total tragedy. Mm. We're talking about four incidences in the last 12 months. That's pretty high. It is pretty high, but the absolute risk of having a blood clot it's when you're low. on the contraceptive yeah. is absolutely mm. tiny. Millions of women in this country are prescribed a the mm. contraceptive pill every year, and you're talking about maybe a handful, 10, 12, 15, who get a blood, blood clot. It's, yeah. it's low, but it is there. Okay. It's there. Fine. Thank you both very much indeed. Brilliant report, Allegra. Thank you. Um, and at itv.com forward slash news, we have those important facts about the combined pill and deep vein thrombosis and also an NHS tool where you can check your potential risk. 